In this tutorial, we're going to do a face transplant in Photoshop. So what the first thing you need to do is select your face using whatever tool you want. Try and get as little of the background as possible. Let's go back up and catch that. Keep in mind that you may need to play around with the settings of your tool to get this to work right. So that's a pretty crappy selection, so we're going to go up to Select, Modify, and then, whoops, Select, Modify, and Expand, do a couple pixels. Now we're going to feather it, in this case, and then press Command or Control C to copy. Go to your new image, make a new layer, press Command or Control V to paste. Oops, if it's actually copied. Command or Control C, Command or Control V, there we go. So move it into place, resize it, and rotate it if you need to. Make sure that their chins and noses and mouths roughly line up. So now we need to create a new adjustment layer so that we can change the skin tones, make sure group of previous layers selected or checked. And we'll just play around with these. So there's no real way you're supposed to do this, just play around with them until something looks good. So that's alright, it doesn't, it's not the best, but whatever. So make sure your foreground and background colors are white and black. And with black on the foreground, go to your paintbrush tool. Make sure your layer mask in your adjustment layer is selected. And we're going to click in the eyes. You can make your brush smaller if you need to. And we're also going to brush it around the hair. This will stop it from being adjusted by the layer mask, or the adjustment layer. So that's pretty good. His hair looks real. So now what we can do is either create an, a layer mask and cover up some of this neck, or we can erase it. If you have the layer mask um, tool installed in Elements, because it doesn't come with it, you can use that, but we'll erase it. Also, I will do a tutorial on how to get layer mask functionality in elements. So I'm just going to erase around his neck. I'm going to zoom in. This is now when you can erase any parts of the background or anything from your uh, George Bush image that came in. It's a bit of an aura around his hair, so we'll change that a bit too. So it looks all right. Um, also, you can change the opacity a little bit if you need to. Maybe do 90. You don't need to do this, but you can. So it looks pretty good. He looks like he's blending in pretty good with the sumo wrestler guy. Now we can create a new layer above our background and go to the clone stamp tool and just fill in anything that shows through from the background image. So that's about it. That's how to do a face transplant in Photoshop using some simple techniques. You can apply these to anything else as well. It, it's useful for much more than transplanting faces to make stupid images, but whatever. If you like this video, comment, rate it, you know. If you like my channel, subscribe, because there's lots more Photoshop videos coming.